YouTube, what is going on? It's been a minute back with my latest video, back with another installment of Wishlist Wednesdays. So I have some pops for you guys today. I have one for my feature presentation for Wishlist Wednesdays, and I had two more that came in the mail that I want to show you guys as well. So let's get right into it and get into this video. Here we go. Alright guys, before we get into this video, please smash that like button down below. Let me know you guys are enjoying these videos. And as always, if you're not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button down below as well so you're updated to my most recent content. Hit the bell notification so you're alerted as soon as I post a new video. So before I get into the pops, I just want to say a big thank you to everyone who reached out to make sure I was okay. Um, everything's been fine with me, just decided to take a break. Um, to be quite honest with you guys, uh, a lot of things started to get a little stale for me. I felt like I was making the same videos for you guys all the time. And uh, a lot of mystery box companies weren't releasing as much uh, boxes and the ones that they were releasing were selling out pretty quickly. So I decided it was a good time to take a break, fall back. I got burnt out to be quite honest with you guys. If it feels stale and redundant to me, I believe it feels the same way for you guys and I feel that that's not fair to you, not fair to me. It was time to take a little step back for a quick second and get right back, get right back into the videos. Um, so no, everything was okay, but I appreciate you guys checking up on me. So if this is your first time watching this segment for Wishlist Wednesdays, um, it's a segment where I do purchase a pop or pops that were on my wishlist for a while. And um, you know, I wanna make sure that I buy a lot of mystery boxes that I'm still focusing on what is on my actual wishlist. So I have three pops I'm gonna show you guys today. Two I bought for Wishlist Wednesdays, but one did trickle in uh, today and I wanted to show you guys this because I was really excited to see this one since the glam pictures um, popped up. So if you've been watch or follow me on Instagram, if you're not, go follow me on The Pop Savage on Instagram. But you've seen that I've been watching Naruto recently and I actually just finished it all whatever, 200 episodes of Naruto and 500 episodes of Naruto Shippuden. Um, I might watch Boruto at some point, but not at this time. Gotta take a little bit of a break from that as well. Um, but this pop, I saw the glam for it and I had to have it as soon as I saw it. And that's the sexy jutsu Naruto. So, um, I know we were talking about that Kappa thing a while ago with Funko Pops, if they were gonna be ready, like, related to kids or not. I think this pop right here shows that pop not all Funko Pops are for kids. Um, you know, anime definitely has some adult content in it, and this one is no different. Um, this is the sexy Jutsu Naruto. If you guys have never seen the cartoon, it's where Naruto, who is pictured right back there, he has a power where he can make himself look like a girl. Um, so it's a little weird, you know, um, it's a little different than a, a lot of cartoons we watched growing up, you know, from like Nickelodeon, Cartoon Network, and things of that nature. Anime kind of uh, pushes the envelope sometimes. Um, but I thought this pop was really cool. It's from like the original Naruto episodes. He did it in like the first couple episodes. So it's pretty vintage. I thought it was pretty cool. And um, it's a box lunch exclusive as you guys can see. I don't know if it's sold out or not, but I know a lot of people were hyped to get this one. And um, I have almost all the Naruto pops. So this one was a no brainer for me. And to me, it's just a little, it's a funny pop. I'm surprised that Funko actually decided to make this into a Funko pop just because of uh, the sexual nature of it. Um, but that's kind of why I, I thought I'd pick it up because it was a little bit different out of the ordinary for something that Funko would make. So this is the first pop that came in. Wanted to share this to you guys and was really excited that this one came in today. All right, so like I said, I have two pops I picked up for today's Wishlist Wednesday segment. One I did uh, put on my Instagram for, I was like in search of the pop and I did find actually a good deal and on eBay and scooped it up. Um, thanks to everyone who was looking out for me and tried to get that for me as well. Um, it wasn't a really expensive one, but it was the last one I needed to complete this collection. And it is Grizz from We Bear Bears. So if you guys have not watched this show, it's a little bit more under the, under the radar for a uh, cartoon. Um, it comes on Cartoon Network. They're actually um, on Netflix right now. So you guys wanna have a TV show to binge watch. Highly suggest this one. Um, it's on Netflix and I believe it's on Hulu as well. Um, we Bear Bears is a very, very funny show. It reminds me of the old 90s cartoons. Like I said, we watched the Nickelodeon Cartoon Network. Um, but the, the bears are funny. These are the three bears back there. You have Grizz, Ice Bear, and Panda. Like I said, I had Panda and Ice Bear already, but I was missing Grizz. 
He's only like an $8 pop. I ended up getting him on eBay for under that, and I think I had a coupon, I ended up getting him for free. So um, free is the best price to me, and this was a no-brainer pop. There is a flocked edition where all three of them are in a three-pack, and it's a Barnes & Noble exclusive. Ariel told me that I need to get that one as well, so maybe I'll be a lookout for that. Um, it's a pretty cool one. It's, you know, sometimes I don't like to double down on things I already have, but the flocked for them makes sense, and I think I may pick it up at some point. But for now, I had to get this one to complete the three regular bear set. They're not expensive. I don't know if there, any of them are vaulted yet, so if you guys end up watching the show, if you're looking to get the pops, definitely affordable and definitely a uh, cool pop to have in your collection. So there you go. Grizz from We Bear Bears is the first pop for today's Wishlist Wednesday's pops. All right, guys, and this last one, if you guys have been following the most recent Wishlist Wednesday segment, been having a little bit of a Disney theme. There's a Disney theme obviously behind right there that I'm looking to complete a lot of the older and vaulted Disney ones. So the ones I've had in the past, a lot of them had no boxes. This one was actually able to pick up with a box and was extremely, extremely excited to get this one in the collection. So let me show you guys what this one is. All right guys, so this was a pop. Um, this is from the Series 1's pop. So this one's a little bit of an older one and actually has the older box as well. So that's a plus. And that is solely from Monsters, Inc. So this is a really, really nice pop. Um, like I said, it's the older box. You have the Disney Store logo up there instead of just a regular Disney one. Uh, this one is one I wanted for a while. I don't have any Monsters, Inc. pop. They don't, I don't have Mike. I don't have Randall. I don't have Roz. All ones I wanted to get eventually. So this was the first one I got. Um, really dope one. Here's the other ones in the box uh, back right there from Series 1. Like I mentioned, the Mike Wazowski right there is a really, really dope one. They also do have Boo, the little kid that was from uh, Monsters, Inc. as well. I think she came a little bit later, I think Series 3 or 4 maybe. Um, I'm making that up. If you guys know, drop down in the comment section down below. Um, but Sully, you know, he's the older school, old school uh, Funko look. Um, like I said, this was one of the first Disney pops that Funko did make in this first series line. Um, really, really nice pop. I'm really glad to be able to get this one in the box and in Disney Store box as well. And uh, it definitely will fit into some of my other uh, vaulted and older Disney pops. Um, Monster Sync to me was one of the better Disney and Pixar movies um, when it came out. The uh, second one was, was it, Monsters University. That was good as well. They do have some pops for that. They have a Sully, Randall, um, a couple other people. I think Michael Zaski. I don't have any of those. If anybody out there has any, let me know. I know some of them are pretty expensive, especially like the metallic ones. Um, but this one was the first one for me. And uh, yeah, still slowly trying to complete these Disney pops. Um, I like to have at least one from every movie, um, you know, sometimes more. But this one was a must have for me. And uh, glad that I found this for a great deal. So, guys, that's what I have for you guys today. Just the three pops. Um, you know, just want to keep up, keep you guys up to date. I have gotten a whole lot of things in the mail. I did check out my P.O. box as well. I have a whole lot of boxes sitting downstairs that I still haven't gone through and um, mystery boxes as well. So definitely we'll be making more videos. Like I said, it was just a short break I had to take and uh, I do still want to remain committed to making content for you guys. So stay tuned. I'm going to have a giveaway, tune, giveaway soon as well. So stay tuned for more information on that. So drop down in the comment section below which of these pops you like the most. Like I said, if you have any of the uh, other Monsters Inc. pops or you have the um, Flock We Bear Bears pop, let me know. We can work something out. And uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. If you're not already, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, follow me on The Pop Savage on Instagram. And thanks so much for watching. Till next time, see you later.